What's up, Arches? It's your girl, Monique. Listen, whenever I be dressing like this, you know, kind of like a dude, like I get into my tomboy type ways, my energy changes. All right, y'all. This is going to be the tarot reading for the Sagittarius Zodiac, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, North Node, and South Node placements. All right. There's going to be a lunar eclipse happening on November 30th, and this is all about, you know, what's coming to light, what's being revealed. Um, you know, what do you need to go ahead and let go before we head into 2021, okay? They're going to show you, and it's up to you whether or not you want to take the advice, okay, before they just yank it away from your ass, okay? Please like the video, leave a comment telling me it just resonated with you in any way. Subscribe to the channel, please. I really appreciate that, y'all. Thank y'all for subscribing. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for booking readings with me. I really appreciate it. It'd be crazy if I get to 5,000 subscribers before the year is over. Not putting it out there. Please always check the description box and the pinned comment in the comment section for not only my information, but all my homegirls' information who sell spiritual supplies, um, body serums or shea butters, um, spiritually spiritually charged candles and any other type of spiritual um products like incense florida water crystals all that okay so sagittarius just gonna shuffle the deck and we're gonna see what three come out for y'all how this uh lunar eclipse is going to be affecting y'all spirits how's the lunar eclipse going to be affecting november 30th is when it happens it affects us for two weeks beforehand and two weeks after okay so literally into the middle of december we're feeling the effects already spirits how is this lunar eclipse going to affect the sagittarius zodiac and it's going to be happening in y'all sign okay so this is definitely going to be affecting y'all okay let's see Twin Flame, you might need to go ahead and check out Virgo reading too. I'm going to be uploading that, girl. I don't know. <laughs> You'll see. Okay, well, I'll put it on my Instagram whenever it's uploaded. Okay. Twin Flame, all right. Okay. Yeah, go check out the Virgo reading because Twin Flame came out for them as well. All right. Spirit, ooh. Do you need to send a message to your twin, Sag? Okay. Or are you going to? No, you're going to be sending a message to your twin. Okay. You're going to be sending a message to your twin. Sag, this eclipse is, made, uh, is revealing to you it's time for you to go ahead and talk to your twin. So I think this is for twins who are not in union. Okay? You need to go ahead and send a message to them. Okay? And whoever your twin is, they know that you're their twin. Okay? So let's see. Three cards, and we're just going to read from those three cards. Spirits, go ahead and let me know what's going on with the Sagittarius Zodiac. Okay? What's this lunar eclipse? How is this lunar eclipse going to affect the Sagittarius zodiac? How is this lunar eclipse on November 30th going to affect the Sagittarius zodiac? King of Swords with the Four of Cups. So somebody is very cold. Somebody is acting very cold, acting like they don't want to talk to you. Could be an Aquarius or a Cancer. They're lying because they're waiting. Okay? How you acting cold and rejecting somebody but you're just sitting there? Okay? Spirits. Yeah, there's somebody who's trying to act like they don't care about you. Um, it might not. Well, no, they are. Because the four of cups, there's a sort of rejection here. But four of cups can be rejecting someone or missing someone. And I kind of just feel like somebody's in this space of trying to act like they don't, you know, they don't have the feelings for you that they do. They do. Spirits, how is the lunar eclipse on November 30th going to affect the Sagittarius Zodiac? The world. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that down. Yeah. Go ahead and check out Virgo because they had these exact two same cards pop out. Okay. Up under each up under each other. So there's something that you're wrapping up. You learned a lesson from this situation and you're ending a certain situation, okay? And you're opening up yourself to a lot more um possibilities. Somebody's also traveling during this time, okay? Spirits, go ahead and give me some insight. Go ahead and give me some insight, y'all. Um, how is the lunar eclipse going to affect the Sagittarius Zodiac? Eight of Wands. Yeah, somebody's traveling. Somebody is literally traveling. Somebody might be doing more than one trip from now until the end of the year. Okay? Or somebody is planning for one trip uh, next year and going on one trip this year. There's two trips here, though. Okay? Could be with the woman. Queen of Swords, the Empress. Okay? 
heavy Libra energy here. It could also be a Taurus, but I'm picking up heavier on a Libra. There's somebody who's investing in themselves, okay? They're cutting off anything that they need to. Remember how we saw that Ten of Swords? They were a little worried about cutting off the situation, but they're going to, okay? It could be a love situation, all right? They're going to go ahead and cut it off because they just feel like, you know what? I'm that, I'm, 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 I'm that chick, okay? And if anybody don't know it, girl, we ain't going to no, spend no time explaining it to them. We won't do that, okay? Or if you know, you know. No biggie. Spirits. You saw that? That shit still came out like that. Yeah, somebody is like, girl, I can give you grace or I can catch a case. Okay? Like somebody has learned how to master the logical side and the emotional side to them. All right? Sag, this could be you because I just saw um, the Ten of Wands, which is a Sagittarius card. And so was the Eight of Wands, girl. This is you, Sag. Spirits. How is the lunar uh, girl that want to come out, girl? What is this lovers? Okay, with this earth sign, okay? Something that has crashed and burned before, girl, because the tower card is here. Okay, it's crashed and burned before, but somebody was able to pull themselves up after it crashed. Okay, it could have been a Leo. So we got lovers. All right, I think that's supposed to come out because we got twin flame in your uh, beginning messages. Okay, could be with the man or earth sign. Okay, or just somebody who has earth sign placements. Spirits, and I say you need to check out the Virgo reading. Spirits, go ahead and clarify this world card for me for the lunar eclipse, okay? Go ahead and clarify this world card for me for the lunar eclipse. Four of Cups. Everything I'm, I'm saying is, high, is, is confirmation, Sagittarius, because the High Priestess is here. Girl, what is going on with the fucking laptop? I do not have time for this. There we go. Okay, so yeah, there's somebody who like... Physically, you've been rejecting, but spiritually, you can't reject this person. You know you want this person. This person knows that they want you. It could be a Cancer or a Taurus, heavy uh, ter Taurus energy. Okay, yeah, girl, you know that you want this person. High Priestess and the Justice card. You be trying to reject it. Some of y'all might try to date. That ain't work, okay? That ain't work at all. <laughs> that ain't work at all, okay? Spirits. Yep, tower card. That ain't work at all. That just ended in turmoil. Okay, that's the second time we saw this tower. Okay, and that high priest is still on the bottom of the deck. So spiritually, you already know who you're supposed to be with if you're in that sort if, if you're in that certain situation. If you're not and you're deciding to be single, there's somebody who you know you need to go ahead and put it into. Okay, it could be a cancer or an Aries or a Scorpio or a Taurus. You already know your intuition has been telling you. You probably know already got a reading on this. And you already know Justice Card, Libra Energy. You already know what you deserve. You know you don't need to be putting up with the shit no more. Because it's already crashed. Burn on your ass, okay? Spirits, go ahead and clarify this world card for me. How is the lunar eclipse going to be affecting the Sagittarius Zodiac? Yep. Dinosaurs. This could have been a situation as to where, like, you know, this person was uh, dealing with other people and you kind of told them, I don't want to be involved with you as long as you're doing that. They ain't care. They kept messing with uh, other people. And you just kind of like, you know what? I think it's time for me to go ahead and wrap up the situation. It is. Okay, go ahead and put that, put that shit to bed. Because whenever they're not talking to you, they're talking to other people. I just saw the Five of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, okay? Spirits, go ahead and give me some, um... Lord, could it be this man, okay? No, it's not. Because this man is actually by himself. Okay, that's a different That's a different person who you end in shit with. That's a different person. This King of Pentacles, this Earth sign, probably a Virgo, okay? Staying to himself, not messing with a lot of people. Um, getting up on his spiritual game. Okay, and he's unexpectedly rushing in towards somebody. It could be a Leo, all right, or unexpectedly he's going to be going on vacation. He got to move a lot of shit around in order to make this happen, but he's going to because he wants to go. Spirits, go ahead and clarify this Eight of Wands. Message! Send a message and surprise message. That's what this Eight of Wands is because Eight of Wands represents some sort of message. Spirits, clarify what this Eight of Wands is. What is this Eight of Wands, Spirits? Ooh. So some of y'all could be getting some sort of message about some sort of money-making opportunity. Um, with the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck, somebody has won something, okay? Somebody is on top of the motherfucking world right now, okay? I'm just hearing, like, somebody was able to make some sort of move happen, Okay? Um, somebody was very responsible about their finances, so they was able to go somewhere, okay? I'm 
seeing some people might be going to uh, travel and go see family too over these next few weeks. Spirits, clarify what is this Eight of Wands? What is this Eight of Wands, Spirits? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so <laughs> we got the King of Cups here. <laughs> We got the King of Cups here. So this is a water sign, a man. Go check out that Virgo reading, y'all. So there's a man who's going to be sending you some sort of communication, um, wanting to build something, which you want to start like a legacy, which you, they're going to be revealing this to you due to this eclipse, okay? Seven of Cups, they've been out here taste testing, okay? Girl, don't nobody taste like you. He likes your flavor, all right? Yeah, <laughs> he likes some flavor. It could be a Leo. I'm sorry, I keep looking at the window here. There is a truck parked in the fucking like in the road, and I'm just like, I don't like when people do that shit. Don't you hate it when people just be doing stupid shit? Like, you know what bugs the fuck out of me when I'm uh at any type of grocery store and somebody just leaves the cart like on like the fucking like curb beside all the parking spaces when the fucking cart holder shit is right behind them i've never worked at a store so i don't know what it's like to go get carts but bitch i worked at dsw and i know what it's like to go get shoes from fucking men's when it's a kid shoe why the fuck am i getting a size two pair of sketchers over in the aldo section in the men's dress shoes i used to hate that shit girl i do not miss dsw i was there for years i do not miss it i used to hate picking up at the motherfuckers i hate that okay you are grown put the shit back okay but there's somebody who's been exploring their options and they feel like they can't four cups seven of cups what's the difference between that three of cups they've been exploring and nobody who they you know interviewed has gotten a job okay because they know that they want a leo or a scorpio or a cancer spirits what's this eight of wands clarify this eight of wands card for me okay what's this eight of wands Okay. Death. <laughs> death with the page of swords on the bottom of the deck. What's this death card, y'all? What's this death card? Is he... Oh, okay. Transforming. Okay. Justice! So, okay. This man was in some sort of court case. There's somebody who was in some sort of court case. Um, They won. They got a rule in favor. Um, They're no longer in court no more. Or they're going to be getting out of court over these next few weeks. Okay? It could be a Libra, a Scorpio, or any air sign. This person has been watching you. They've been watching you. They've been alone, Hermit card, Virgo energy. They've been alone, and they've been watching you because you cut their ass off. <laughs> you cut their ass off. Also, you've been watching this person. It's a vice versa energy. Both of y'all have been watching each other, okay? Whoever this King of Cups is, this water sign, okay? Both of y'all have been watching each other. He's coming forward towards you, though. Like, he's sending you a message, all right? A surprise message, something that you never would have expected from him. Spears, go ahead and clarify this eight of wands. Clarify this eight of wands for me, y'all. You see, y'all got jumpers. Spears, clarify this eight of wands for me. I don't like how that look. Sag, this could be you. Any fire sign, really. Okay, so here's the situation. This person was juggling you at one time with a, with a fire sign, okay? Could have been a Leo or Aries or you. Sash, this person was juggling you with somebody else. They walked away from that person, ended the, ended the situation. Ten of Swords with the Eight of Cups, they ended the situation. But how I know they was juggling you was because the Two of Pentacles is here. This person could have had a family with this person, like a child with the person. Okay? They moved away from them. They're no longer dealing with them. Okay? Ace of Cups, because this King of Cups knows who he loves. And it ain't this Queen of Wands. Got lovers up next. Spirits, go ahead and clarify this lovers card for me. Clarify this lovers card for me. Go ahead and clarify this lovers card for me, y'all. Ooh, girl. Okay, ten of cups. Somebody is in love with you, Sag. It could be a water sign or a Gemini, a Pisces or a Gemini, okay? But they're on delay right now. I feel like this, this situation, like this love connection between y'all has been delayed. Um, I feel like it's been delayed though because somebody had to make some sort of move, okay? And if he was in court, he had to get out of court. You want to deal with a court case? No, ma'am. We've done that, okay? Yeah, this person had to make a move for one. They had to establish themselves first before they came towards you and they had to cut off whoever this was. They had, they had to cut off whoever that was, okay? They're gone though. They're not dealing with them no more. 
And now they want to have a family. They want. They literally are thinking about having a family now. Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. This person wants a family. Four of Cups is here. Sometimes they reject the idea of it. But that's just because of the shit that they went through. Whatever this Queen of Wands was. This Aries. Because we got the Tower and the Queen of Wands. It's an Aries. Spirits. Clarify this lover's card for me. Clarify this lover's card for me, please. I told you there was two separate women here, okay? One person who he got pregnant. Well, I feel like the person who he got pregnant wound up being a queen of wands, okay? She was a mistress, okay? But with the empress, this man want to get somebody pregnant, okay? Whoever he wants a family with, he don't have a child with, okay? This is a baby mom situation because we did see the page pop out. So somebody is not messing with the mother of their child anymore. Somebody's not messing with the father of their child no more. And now whoever they want to get pregnant is somebody who doesn't have their child, okay? Yeah, Justice card. They feel like they deserve this person with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. This is somebody who, like, I don't know if this is a new person. It could be a new person. But this is somebody who, like, they just see perfection. Like, they see this, this woman as perfection. They see having a family with this woman. They want a child with this woman. They want a daughter with her, okay? Spirits, clarify this lover's energy. Clarify this lover's energy for me. Okay, Ooh. Justice with the two of cups on the bottom of the deck. So, Sag, there's somebody who you know is your twin flame. You're going to be sending them a message over these next few weeks, okay? A surprise message. This person isn't expecting it, okay? They're doing their thing, okay? Also, that man, baby mama, be trying to talk to him. God. Somebody get her a pillow so she can sit on the fucking floor, okay? Like, girl, why is you here, Okay? Because the Eight of Wands is with the Queen of Wands, okay? Also, I think I said in the Virgo, in the Virgo read, somebody is sending a farewell message. That could be it, okay? This man is being like, listen, you're cut. Like, we're not dealing with each other, all right? But just be mindful. This man does have an ex who, like, don't really want to let go. She don't want to let go. He let go of her, but she don't want to let go, okay? He also just got out of court with this woman. He could have been in court with this woman, Okay? Everything's just crashed and burned for her. Well, he's okay. <laughs> he's okay. All right? But he wants to start fresh with somebody. I think he already knows this person because it's a twin flame. He already knows this person. And he knows that this person is his twin flame. Okay? Spirits. Knight of Swords. It's going to be real unexpected that this person, this man is going towards this woman. She's not expecting it. Okay? She's doing her thing. <gasps> but she knows. What's crazy? She's not expecting it, but she knows it's coming. She just doesn't know when it's coming. She can feel his energy. Both of them can feel each other's energy. It's not vice versa energy. So you remember how I said he be stalking her? She didn't stalk him too in some sort of way and or manner. She could have gotten a reading on him. He could have gotten a reading on her. I feel like both these people got a reading on each other. Girl, the madness, okay? <laughs> High priestess in the to in the knight of swords of uh, energy. So, yeah, you know this person is coming back to you. You just don't know when. You just don't know when. I don't think the universe wants you to know because we saw the will of fortune. This happens in due time, okay? And it happens whenever you're just focusing on yourself. And all of a sudden, you get a text message, okay? Who is this girl? Page of Cups, get a text message. And it's kind of light. You know what I'm saying? It's not heavy. You know, he not just like, girl, I want to marry you. Have my kids. You know, like, he not hitting you up like that. He just like, hey, you know, just want to check in on you. You know, the pandemic is going on. Just wanted to make sure you were safe. I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> Don't be like that. But, you know, like, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be real, like, light. You know, because he needs to test the waters. That's how King of Cups does. He needs to test the waters before he just goes all in on expressing this love that he has for you. Because the man has a, a plan. Okay, he knows how he wants to come towards you. He knows he deserves you. Okay. Oh, is that how he feel? He feel like he deserves you. I don't know, girl. He got he he got whoever this Queen of Wands was. He ain't like the way she tasted, like pennies. Okay, I guess she tasted like pennies. Let me. I gotta be careful, okay? But yeah, you already know. Sad, you already know. You already know this person. 
You already know this person, and you knew this person was, you could feel this person's energy around you, okay? Heavy. Any closeout messages for the Sagittarius Zodiac, y'all? Any closing messages? Four Swords, Judgment, and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you haven't been talking to this person. This is for Twin Flames who are not in union, okay? You haven't been talking to this person. They're going to be talking to you over these next few weeks, okay? They haven't been talking to you, though. Um, this isn't the sole reason, okay? But they've been going through a lot financially. And like I said, they had to rebuild themselves. Five and the Ten of Pentacles, they had to rebuild themselves. I do feel like they're a single parent. They do have a child that they had to worry about that came first, okay? Before it came to talking to your ass, Sag. <laughs> They have the shit to worry about. Other than talking to you. Like, <laughs> these are facts, okay? But this person has been redeemed. They've been getting a lot of sleep. They've been in your dreams. Yes, you've been dreaming about this person a lot. You want to know why? Because you're on their mind. And they're dreaming about your ass, too. And because they probably got a fucking reading on you. Recently. This was recent. This person got a reading on you. Did you recently get a reading on them? Okay. You're twins. So you kind of like do some of the same shit. Yeah. It's happening. It's happening. Okay. It's happening. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Sag. <laughs> this is your tarot reading for the full... For the lunar, it's a full moon lunar eclipse, but it's it's a lunar eclipse in Sag. Okay, this is gonna be your tarot reading for that full uh for that lunar eclipse, girl. Please like the video, leave a comment telling me if this resonated with you in any way. Remember, the eclipse have effects on us two weeks before the moon, the full moon, or new moon, a full moon in this case, two weeks before and two weeks after. Okay, so it's it's already you start already starting to feel the effects. So this is already in play for you. All right. Please like the video, leave a comment telling me it just resonated with you in any way. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at Monique with the Mystic with two Y's. DM me on there if you would like a personal tarot reading. And always, always, always check the description box for not only my contact information, but my homegirls as well. They all sell spiritual items. Okay, get into it. All right, y'all. Follow me on Instagram. That way you can know who I'm about to post. Okay, because um, I think Leo and Gemini are going to be the next ones that I record for the lunar eclipse. Okay. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.